Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today I'm gonna do um, a little come shopping with me vlog. Uh, we are in Kingston at the Ventil Centre, which is like an hour drive from us, but it just has some better shops. Like it's got an and other stories and a mango and a big Zara and stuff. So yeah, we just come down with my mum. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Um, so yeah, she's gonna film some shopping clips and then hopefully at the end of this I'll have enough to do a haul. So, hopefully you enjoy. Ooh, a bit overexposed. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. H&M, uh, we just had a look at the trend section. It's kind of like my only like section that I like in here. So, um, but there's not actually that much stuff. So, I found a cardigan and a coat. I'll show you my outfit while I'm here. Got this blazer on from Zara. Little backpack. These jeans are from Topshop, and then my boots are from Zara. Oh, and the white t-shirt is from and other stories, but. Basically, I've got some chocolate on it, so that's why I've had to close my blazer. <laughs> this is the coat that I have on in my Instagram pictures. Um, I will pop a picture on the screen of the picture that I mean, but that's the code there for it. Whoops. <laughs> so I'm just in the change rooms for H&M now. Just thought I'd show you quickly. I've got quite a lot of neutrals, jumpers, a couple of bits in the sale, actually. Um, I've got this skirt, which I've seen on Instagram, and I love it. So cool. Um, so I'll try that on. And then I've got this top, which is cool. And then I got this dress, which is very summery, but I think with black boots and a leather jacket, it would look quite cool. And then a cardi. So yeah, I'll try them all on. So the first thing I'm trying on is this cardigan, which I love. I think it's so cool. Like I'm so into cardies at the moment, but it's so itchy. Like I don't know if you can see. It's literally just like full wool um, and I've said before in my videos that I don't really wear wool because it makes my skin really itchy but um, it's a shame because it's so nice I just think it's really nice and slouchy especially with like just a white t-shirt and jeans or even if you wore um, black top and black jeans it'd be nice I was just trying that one on the small and it's 49.99 so it is quite expensive um, but it's pretty thick so I've got this on at the minute and I don't like it at all it's like very baggy around here like I plan to tuck it in but there's just so much excess material um, I've got it on a size 10 so I think if I went smaller it'd be okay but I think I'd have to go like I mean even a 6 I think would be quite baggy it's a nice colour and I like the buttons so that's the code for that one and it's 29.99 okay so <laughs> this is not right um, firstly you can see my bra it's just like the slip here is too big and it just falls all the way down. Um, it's a shame because it's a really pretty dress and I thought it would look quite nice toughened up with a belt and some black boots. Um, but I mean, I just feel like little house on the prairie, so. <laughs> no, not right. Cute though, but no. Okay, so I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but this is the fringe skirt. And I really like it. I've got it on with um, just the snakes and boots I've been wearing because I think, think you need a heeled boot with this. I wouldn't wear it with a white t-shirt, but it's just all I've got with me. I think I'd put it with black. Um, it feels really nice though. Like, it's quite short, but because of these fringing, it is, like, covers you up a little bit longer. Um, 
Yeah, no, I like that. 9.99. That's the code there, and I've got it on in an eight because the ten was too big. But yeah. So this is the Camel Co, and I really like this. Um, I think I might need to go a size down. I've got a size ten on. Um, but I love the double-breasted thing. Like I think I actually would do that up. Uh, can't do it with one hand. Come on. Yeah, I think actually it does look quite cool done up. Um, especially over an all black outfit with some black boots. But also, undone. I just think it's really slouchy and... So I know it's really like flowy, which I like. Um, but it's still thick. And I like this cuff detailing here. Um, and the buttons are really, really nice. Um, it's a little bit itchy, so I'm guessing there is some wool in there. But normally you wear a coat over a jumper, so... But I definitely like it with this um, blue denim as well. I think camel and blue denim go so nice together. Um, I actually already have a camel coat, which I really like. So I'm kind of thinking that I don't need this one. But I think they do it in khaki. So I might try and find the khaki one. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's nice length as well. It just comes sort of like a couple of inches below my knees. So I bought something in H&M. I'll show you when I get home. We're just going to pop into Oliver Bonus now. Just have a little look. It's more like homey bits, but yeah. rental center if you like thinking about coming or something it's pretty like nice it's in this really nice glass building um, it's really old but um, there's Bentles there which is like House of Fraser and then loads of stuff around here you can see down there as well in here that I like. I like this t-shirt um, but other than that it's a bit disappointing and the sale's rubbish too. It's all like very summery. Um, so yeah it's so expensive in here as well which is a shame. You know it still hurts a little bit but not that much Cause if you want somebody else who am I to judge I've been thinking about you all the time but that's alright Starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said I was just looking for some like big chunky biker boots in there But they didn't really have any but I did like the uh, patent ones I showed you on camera So I will link them down below I'm just gonna pop into Zara now Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong you in the summer, our love was out of control. I've been going 
Okay, so I've got this uh, cream v-neck jumper on, um, which I do really like, but I just don't know if this v-neck is a bit high. Sorry about the fake tan, by the way. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it kind of makes me look a bit big. I don't really sorry, doing much for me. And then I've got these like leather, um, like kind of like joggers on. Like, can you see they've got this drawstring? But I think they're okay. I don't think they're anything special. It's quite hard to show you actually in this light, but I don't know. <laughs> so I've got this jumper on with my jeans now, which I think looks loads better. This is the medium. Um, I like because it comes lower down in the, in the V, but I don't know if it's a bit, a bit big. I don't know. Just, I think it would look quite cool with um, a white shirt coming out of it. Hmm. Not sure. It is. 49 yeah so it's 49.99 so mango was really rubbish i feel really disappointed um i just felt like that jumper wasn't worth 59.99 uh, 49.99 uh, so i didn't get it and zara was also really disappointing as well so a bit rubbish i don't know if it's me or whether it's the shops at the moment i just can't seem to find anything that i like i don't know so i'm actually in um mns at the moment which is not really somewhere that I shop in very often, but I really like their knitwear. Um, so I popped in and I found this. So it's a bit like that one that I just tried on a mango, um, which I didn't end up getting. If I show you, hang on. So yeah, I found this one. So it's a bit more beige and then it has this really nice detail on the sleeves. Got this one in a size medium and it's £35, so it's actually cheaper. And it just hangs nicer. Like the mango one was quite stiff. So yeah. Try your local MS if you're looking for some knitwear. I recommend. This coat is cool. Um, I like this coat as well. Like tweed. It's a little bit cheaper. Just trying on this coat. I think it's a little bit big. I think maybe I need an A. It's quite cool. I've just got this blazer on, it's in a size 12, so it's too big. I'm going to go and see if they've got any smaller sizes. Um, but I really like the colours, it's kind of got a bit of blue running through it. Which I think is nice, because then you can put it with blue jeans, maybe not this light. But, but nice with black as well. I think I could wear it clothes. I'm thinking um, with some flared black jeans it would look cool. So ignore the fact that I've got it on with this white t-shirt, because I wouldn't wear it like that at all. Um, but this is the beige jumper I really like it I'm so glad I didn't buy that other one it's way nicer and it feels softer as well and I just think it's a nicer color I think it would look nice with a black roll neck underneath or a white shirt or just nothing underneath yeah good one 
So I found this blazer, which I prefer to the one that I just tried on. Come a bit closer, it's like nicer colours. I like the kind of like pale pink running through it there. Um, and it's a bit more fitted, like round the waist. And then I'm not gonna be able to show you very well, but it's got like a flap at the back. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this one, I think. It's 69 pounds, so it's the same price as the other one, so it is quite expensive still. But it feels really nice and it's really like, like you know sometimes in blazers you can feel a bit restricted, but this one I don't, so that's a good one. So we're just in prep grabbing some lunch. I think we've mostly finished um, in like all the shops we wanted to go into, really. Um, I wanna go in West Elm and John Lewis, but I don't think I'm gonna buy, well I won't buy any clothes, obviously in West Elm, but yeah. No, it's been all right. I haven't been super successful. Um, but yeah, it's been okay. We'll see you when I get home. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later now, but I just thought I would show you in detail the bits that I picked up from my shopping trip that you've just seen. So it wasn't super successful, it only got about four or five things, but hopefully the come shopping with me part was really useful for you guys to see what's in the stores at the moment, and also see how I shop and like how I decide what I'm gonna buy and what I'm not gonna get and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, I'll just quickly show you these bits. You've seen most of them anyway, but um, yeah. So first up, I went into H&M as you saw and I got this skirt. Um, so I've, yeah, I've already tried it on for you, but it is just this sort of black tassel faux leather skirt. It's 39.99 and I got this one in a size eight. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to style this up with nice big black jumper and boot heels. The quality of this is amazing. It's not real leather, but it feels like it. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up and I will link it below for you. So that was in H&M. I didn't get any of the other bits. Um, the jumpers didn't fit very nicely. I really liked the uh, camel coat, but like I said, I already did have a camel coat, so it wasn't really worth me getting it. Um, I often, I love H&M, but I often find that they put a lot of wool and stuff in their knitwear, and um, just for me, that's not great because I find it really itchy. So I only came away with that, but I'm really happy with that. And then next up, I went into um, And Other Stories. And again, that one wasn't super successful either. I don't know, maybe I wasn't in the right mood. Um, but basically I just picked up this t-shirt, which um, is just a really, really good one to chuck on with a pair of like skinny jeans, black boots and a coat and you're good to go. I just really liked it. It feels so soft. It's got this really nice sort of like sun and moon uh, detail. It's a little bit sort of astrology kind of style. And I got this one in a 36. And other story sizes really confuse me. I think that's an A. I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it fits me fine. So yeah, that's that one. Really simple. Bit boring. Sorry. Um, I went into Zara, which just had nothing. I don't know. At the moment, I'm really struggling with Zara. I like go on their website like every day. And there's not really that much stuff that I think is worth buying. I don't know. It's just weird because normally I love Zara in autumn winter. So Hopefully they're going to be bringing out a load of new stuff because I'm just not loving it at the moment. Um, and then I went into Mango and again, like you saw, I tried on some bits but they just weren't quite right. Um, so I didn't get anything in Mango either. Um, but then the next store I went into was M&S. So I got this blazer. So I've been on the lookout for a Czech blazer for ages and everyone I tried on wasn't right for some reason. I didn't like the colours, I didn't like the fit, blah, blah. Anyway, but I found this one and I love this. So, like I said in the clip, it's this black and white blazer and it's got these pink sort of um, lines running through it. And it's a really nice fit. It's quite tailored, which I really like. It really sort of like pulls you in a little bit around the waist. It's got this flap detail, so it's got some nice movement to it. Um, I actually uploaded a picture of this on my Instagram. I'll pop it on here. And loads of you guys really, really loved it. And um, I'm pretty sure quite a lot of you went on to buy it. So I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I got a size eight in this one. It's really good and it, like it's such a good quality piece. That is one of the bonuses of going to M&S is their stuff is really good quality. So yeah, I definitely recommend you try that one out. And if not, they actually had a lot of other Czech blazers in there too. So if this one's not your style, they had some more oversized ones and stuff. So yeah. And then next up from M&S, I've already worn this. Um, actually, I've already worn quite a lot of the things there. <laughs> um, is this V-neck jumper. Now you saw that I tried one on in Mango and it just fitted really horribly. It was like all bulky around here and stuff. This fits so much nicer and it's so soft. Like honestly, I can't even explain to you how soft it is and there's no wool in it, so happy days. It's got this really nice sort of like plaited detail around the um, down the sleeves and it's v-neck and it's just nice and chunky and weighty and it's kind of like, I'd say it's like a off creamy beige colour 
Um, I'll just check the fabric content for you because I always find this really interesting. So I got this in a medium. And so it's 84% acrylic, 10% polyamide and 6% polyester. I know that quite a lot of people may have issues with those sort of man-made fabrics um, like for the environment and stuff like that but I just can't wear wool so I have to buy fabrics like this but yeah there was a lot of ones in MLS that did have wool in them though so if you're more into that then go and check them out honestly I just love their knitwear a couple of videos back I got a grey jumper from them so yeah definitely check them out Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did then please let me know in the comments below. Also please do subscribe to my channel and I would love it if you followed me on Instagram. I've actually shot a couple of those looks on Insta so yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the name on the screen here um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.